I mean, get back to. Did you, you get something that? to drink and eat, Mark, Matt? Yeah, for the most part. Ken, do you watch that on Netflix? Or yeah. did you download that? I've watched it way before. I've watched it like three or four times. I've watched everything. And Sherlock's got to be second best TV show of all time, in my opinion. Is that on Netflix? Or is it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'll have to check that out. They're filming the next season. The Wire? I, see, I'm looking for new shows. So I'd say The Wire is probably number three. I still think Breaking Bad. Oh, jerky. Thank you. Unexpected. Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> I have jerky. You know, I, I, I'd rec- uh, season one of Heroes was amazing. It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, everything season after two. season one. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was really drops, Woo! but. Uh, you watch Dexter? Oh, yep. I love Dexter. Oh, it's. I missed it tonight. I yeah. skipped out on the premiere of Dexter tonight for D and D. And every tomorrow. every su- subsequent episode coming up. No, I, I'll get it on demand. And oh, they, nice. they do they do next day demand. Um, so looks uh, like Alex Alex dropped. Hey Matt. Yeah, so you know. I, I see I see that. Uh, how are y'all feeling about this session? I know I know Ken that your character kind of just saw some weird shit and ended up crying and stuff, but. <laughs> You know, you'll be alright. I'm cool. I'd be happy if I could make this stupid fucking demo of this game that Kevin is talking about work. But it doesn't, because this wannabe Steam shit sucks. What is it? That part uh, Zomboid oh, Project Zomboid? Oh, Project Yeah, it tells me the past doesn't work. I'm going to try and launch it from within that. So I'm going to try and launch it like this. There, I got it. The launch I know it. Launch it manually. It, it knows you should be playing D&D right now. <laughs> I, I can help you get, get that stuff like, going. Listen, I got it. I'm good. I'm just messing with you, dude. I know. I have to do it. I get crazy. I feel you. I'm getting a little stir crazy down here, too, because normally I have at least a little more going on, but... Yeah. Nothing on the internet's interesting today, either. Okay. So what's the marching order, and how far away are you following her? Probably about uh, 10 feet behind. Uh... We're between invisible. Five and ten. So between a, a, a tile and a half behind her, I'll take a, I'll take lead on it. Yeah. I'll stay in the middle. You know what the you know what the song said? Was there in the middle where he can shed some light? And you never let that damn thing. Never let that damn. Thing. All right, send me the fucking link because <laughs> I, I have no song. idea what you're talking about. I have well, no idea. Do that later, but um. All right. So uh, Aisha walks over here and she stares Ooh. down at the spiral stain. It's a, it's a rather gruesome antique, what appears to be a mummified monkey head. Um, hangs on the northern wall here. It's tiny mouth gaping. This thing right here. A bell pull extends from the monkey's gaping mouth. A ratty throw rug partially obscures a foul stain of dark colored mold on the floor. Ken. Yes. Or Muka. Make a DC 15 reflex save. So I bet where my thing go. <laughs> I think it's four, but I close the wrong tab in a sec. Remember you get a you get a plus two to your you get a plus two to your, for uh trap sense. Oh I do After your trap. Alright. It's not a trap, though. Okay. I never save. <laughs> Sorry, dude. No, it's cool. I'm just saying. It doesn't happen well. I feel you. All right. I mean, the the manticore comes alive. Sweet. And Shit. lurches towards you with the face of the girl that's walking or that's <laughs> staring at the floor. It's pretty weird. And it runs through you, dealing you 19 damage. Oh, Whoa, shit. Fire. Oh, shit, that, dude. Handle that. That's okay. Everyone that's looking, Mooka spontaneously combusts. Burn Mooka. Rock, sit, Roxy's like, she's looking at Coral, put him out, put him out. Yep, yep. And well, he's, he's out. Mooka stop drops and rolls. 
Where <sighs> is Tangle? Shh. Oh, she's uh, back back here, I think, hidden by the... Ah, uh, there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, Roxy's gonna take uh, Mooka's axe and cut the head off the manacorn. Just chop it off. Okay. You do that. And again. Eh, huh? hell, she's just gonna keep chopping it up until it's another one's stuffing. 16 points back, Mocha. Nice. Nice. So. <sighs> yeah. Um. She's like, alright, that thing's dead. She hands the bags back to Mocha. This girl is still staring down at this rug that seems to be covering a moldy stain. Roxy's gonna use Mage Hand on the rug and move it. That's Ooh. not a bad idea. Yeah, nice. She moves the rug and she starts welling. Um, she lets out a very painful Stop. shriek. Um, everyone <laughs> make a DC 18 will save. God damn it. Oh! I failed! Was it 18? Yeah. Yep. Damn it. It's the highest save ever. And it's a yep. save. I get, I, or wait, that, sorry, oh, that was yeah. not the correct roll. Everyone. But I get to make, I get to make a second one. Yay, I made the second one. Why okay, Roxas. One? I've been, I hit myself with protection from evil. I never said she was evil. Uh, she, she's undead. She's obviously evil. That doesn't mean you're evil. But oh, in, this, in this case, she is evil. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> for future reference. For future reference. Not undead okay. does not equal evil. Give oh. the zombies a chance, man. Oh, you... Here, let me, let me look. Let me oh. pull out Roxas really quick. Right. Uh... Jessa and Roxy, you save. And Coral, you save. Um, I ooh. saved <laughs> even Every... with the uh, minus four on my will save. So, uh, right now, um, so what happened? You, you cower in fear of the people who are hit, and Aisha starts wailing against the floorboard, smashing them to pe bits and pieces. Oh. And, Shit, uh, dude. And she breaks a hole in the floor and jumps down. Oh, Tangle. Shakes never... quadrule, and Ow. then runs over and shakes. No, they're good. Now. Tries to shake her companions, basically. Yeah, they're good now. Crox is okay. like something tells me old fox mitten is in the basement. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, dude, Tangle so peers just... down the hole, mm -hmm. and Roxy's... No, go ahead. Roxy was just gonna use um, use dancing lights to help Tangle see. I was gonna say I was gonna throw a, a rock down there or something with light cast on it, but same thing. That Quadril, works too. That works Quadril's too. Quadril's getting concerned about us going to the basement and then possibly being pinched from both sides if we because we haven't cleared this floor yet, and I would hate for us to get down there and have our only point of escape be choked up. But um, Roxy's like choices. Yeah, that we can't search these rooms in time before we lose her, so we should probably just go. Rox is like, all right, let's go down the stairs. Uh, well, hang on. Why, why don't we at least like move some furniture in front of the doors? We'll we'll, we'll pit them or something. That that won't take as long as exploring. Let's just uh, let's just move some crap in front of them or pit them. I like that. Let's do it. All right, so we barricade the doors, Matt. This is a table, right? That looks like a table to me with chairs. Well, how do how do the doors yes. open? Um, I mean, are we are we uh? <laughs> open inward. Great. Well, we can at least you know line the table up against one. If they're dumb, shambering undead, then they won't really know what's going on. So. A a mahogany table surrounded by chairs sits in this room. Twin fireplaces loom to the west, while to the east, stained glass windows obscure. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Obscure. Oh. What could have been a breathtaking view of the Lost Coast. Each window depicts a monster rising out of smoke. 
pouring from a seven-sided box. From they north, all open inward. Oh, sorry. Yes. sorry. Uh, from north to south are depicted a gnarled tree with an enraged face, an immense hook-beak bird of sky blue and gold plumage, a winged centaur-like creature with a lion's lower body, and a snarling woman's upper torso, and a deep blue squid-like creature with evil red eyes. Now, let me let me tell you why. Karal is Karal. I want to take a rope, tie it to that door, and tie it to that door. Tie the rope tight across the two doors, holding them tight. Okay. Same thing with the other two doors. We got, got the rope. rope. Crawls a rope, tangles a rope, or we got rope. Tie yeah. ropes, hanging them apart, and uh, so we're basically tying the ropes tight that if you're going to try and open it forward, you have to basically pull, you either have to break the rope or pull a door down. Mm. Sounds good. Quadril is uh, tactically happy again. We good? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're moving. All right. Let me no, stop moving your characters. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got a copy. But how far is the the basement? Down the hall. I mean, uh, down the hole because we got we do. Eh, I, I never mind. I don't. I don't think. Oh, never mind. Silly idea. Okay. You want to slow fall your way down there? <laughs> it's hard to say. Yeah, we could we could slow fall the monk down there, but I don't well, know. We have no idea what's down there, so it. I mean, we, if if we want to do this, we can tie a rope to that table and uh, climb down. Because remember, the whole upstairs there was a whole upstairs area. With uh, rope and supplies and crap. All right. Yeah. The the undead girl. You actually see looking down the hole before you go down the stairs. You see another staircase below the hole, and she falls like twenty some odd feet down mm -hmm. this other staircase. But um, okay. Well, I mean, I could slow fall it, but I mean, can we? We've already confirmed how far down the hole is, haven't we? Yeah. By looking down it. All right, so let me get... Roxas did not say that. Roxy said that. <laughs> um, you, as you go down the the uh, stairs, a large oaken table with surface covered with moldy stains and rat droppings sits in the center of this large kitchen. Shelves line the walls, and an oversized fireplace dominates the northeast portion of the room. The shelves in the southwest wall are in... A much greater state of disarray and two one foot wide cracks in the wall near the floor lead south into the earth beyond the base of the wall this shit's getting crazy this map is way too colorful for me right now <laughs> um so she went through the hole in the floor that apparently is stairs Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Right. Over here. Yep. Uh, let's keep going. Right? So we're uh, we're down here. Well, I mean, we we've got a lot of. I mean, I, I'd like to pit in anything that I could, of these other rooms. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I you don't know. Uh, all right. Well, we're we're down the hair stairs here. Um. What are we looking at for this door here, Matt? Is that a... Uh, can we tell which way the door opens by looking towards at it? Towards you. Towards you. Towards me, mm. Pittant. All right. You start hammer, hammering hammer. away. And you ding, hear... Ding, ding, ding. You hear the screeching. <laughs> well, it seems to be rats. As you start making noise. Proxy says... Roxy snaps out of her angst and she's like, Carl, uh, let's, we're gonna lose her. Uh, where are the screams Roxy, from? No, um, Roxy's up there. Um, 
No, oh. I was. That was a misclick on my part. Okay. <laughs> Put myself so, in front of the door there, Pitney. Qua Quadril will, will explore. I mean, he's kept his sanity thus far, so. Okay. I mean, uh. uh okay. Ooh, nasty. Uh, Jessa, metagame in here, but I don't think you could go straight there. You'd have to go through the store, the store. Oh. We got a yep. lot of we got a lot of walls to cover first. Let's see those walls now. Let me see on this these rocks <clears throat> here. Besides, Roxas would have gone with you. What the fuck? On the rats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like glad I did not pick. Hmm. I don't have third level. Hundreds of these rats pour out from, oh, great. from the wall. Like this is this picture represents. Hundreds of rats in one spot. Matt, what are our light levels down here? Is this totally dark down here? Um, yes, it is totally dark. I'm going to start throwing, uh, casting light on stones or anything like that. I want to light this whole area up the best I can. I'm Sounds hoping good. they're really sensitive to light and they scurry away and scream. Okay. Hundreds of rats. I'm not a big fan of rats. Quadril sticking alchemist fire. Hmm. I work better against uh, the non-breathing sort, but yeah, yeah, no, I know. I, I've got elemental fists. So I'll just light them up if I have to. Just don't get bit. I can get bit. I'll be fine. You? Well, yeah. No one else can get bit. <laughs> so we'll we'll throw you into the middle of them all and let let an army of rats swarm in Sounds good. and gnaw I'll, on you. I'll light them up. That's <laughs> <laughs> where you need the old like D and D. What was it? Was it three point five or was it three point oh? Where cleave you could just keep cleaving. I think it was even three point oh or even two, where you could just keep cleaving onto targets. It wasn't even based on decks. I want to say it was three, but maybe not. Hmm. Oh, what? Sorry, I'm looking up swarms. <laughs> oh, nasty little buggers. Hmm. At least we were in a fight now. That's cool. Against rats. Ken, how happy are you? Not very happy. <laughs> I just died in the zombie game. So bad. No. It's, that's <laughs> a rough game, dude. It's <laughs> screw everything. Did you play the demo or did you buy it? No, I'm playing the demo right now just to see what it was about. Did they start it off with, like, your wife there? Yeah, it's a... it... <sighs> It's so rough. Well, I don't know. She didn't die yet. But I assume she did now. Well... She's injured, so you got to figure out what you want to do. And, uh. Interesting. Alright. I got it. Let's roll initiative. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mine always happy. sucks. I got half anything. Wow. Finished. Nice, Raxi. Where the hell is that? Alright, there. Plus eight. Nice. Who's got AOE? <laughs> mm. 
I'm trying to just haul you out, man. Alright, Carl, you can enter your uh, initiative in the box if you want. Oh, I'm sorry. And Luca and Quadruple. Yep. I didn't even see it. Now I've got it. Oh, I'm trying. Roxas and Roxy. Roxas is going to uh, stay by Tangle. He's under orders to guard her, not attack a swarm of rats. And Roxy's going to glitter dust the rats. Okay. Because rats have crap will saves. Yes. That is DC a, uh, 17. That's a uh, area effect. Right, and both rats, she'll cast it so bad, both rat storms get glitter dusted. Yeah, gotcha. Goddamn glitter <laughs> dust. <laughs> Alright, is it an evo evocation spell? Nope. It's my DC seventeen. All right. Yes. Because swarms are interesting against area effect spells that deal damage, but this is not deal damage, so it's interesting. Well, it makes sense. Yay! All the rats are blinded. All right, they're blind. Yay! Are they, are they already blind? <laughs> Yay! Uh, Let's blind. see. Oh wait, no. I have to do one more. Yep. Both of them are blind. So they lose their DC or their dexterity to. I'm gonna look this up. Except they have scent. I know, but they they have to be in a position where they can pinpoint their locate someone's location. Besides, scent, scent doesn't allow you to sniff them out and pinpoint them out. Otherwise, oh. Roxas would have found that closet. I mean, are, are they a blind sense type of creature? Okay, okay let's see. So they take a minus... <gasps> minus two to AC, no dex bonus to AC, and... They also... They also have to roll a... 15... Or 50% chance to miss, so... Minus two AC... Lose Dex bonus to AC and fifty percent chance to miss the attack. Well, that should except, be everything. Except swarms don't roll attack rolls. They deal automatic damage. Oh. Well, <laughs> I guess they're they have, I guess their AC's bad then. Alright. But they're swarms, which makes them good. Do they tend to shy away at all from the uh the little white stones that I made or No, they they seem to go towards any aggressor. Um Oh, and Roxy will move will move back here. And she, she actually she'll move here. <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding. She respects Tangle's privacy and kind of moves, up, keeps away from her. Yo, if the swarm has, does it have intelligence? No. So. Oh. Um, so basically, they're just rolling about anyways. Alright? Kind of like hive minded ish. Oh, as most of them are already blind, because there's about 300 
rats, like, all up in a ball, just kind of rolling around over each other. Okay. Lovely. Well, they're all blinded. Um, is it, was, is glitter dust a charm, compulsion, morale effect, pattern, or phantasm? Pattern, maybe? Um, conjuration, you know what? Never mind. They're they're blinded, but um, <laughs> I'm just going to roll randomly here. All right. Um, they sense in some direction. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> they sense in some direction. Over here, in this direction. One moves here, another moves here. Ah, shit. In on us, in us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fun. Yes. The. Huh. These are pain ass. Um, haven't dealt with swarms before, so that's new to me. I just remember the swarm from 4.0, and that was a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> cool. All right. So you can you can make opportunity attacks against them. At least this one. Uh, Quadrul, Muka, and Coral. Um, not not quadrul, but Muka and Coral can make an attack on the rats on quadrul because they're moving through you, but they're moving towards quadrul. If that makes sense. So I can't do it. Exactly. Okay. Muka, you hit. All right. <laughs> How do we miss a swarm of rats? Does Damn. the style of our attack help? Kill more rats or no? No. Okay. Um. You kill this rat pack. Rat pack. Um. Try and cleave at the axe. Just the other one, Muka. As you're being attacked by rats. Uh. Well, you take one damage. Oh. And make a so a rat just kind of yeah on the leg. You're like really it's like Alex. Alex. Yeah, his internet's bad. Wow. Like Damn, you're entering the matrix. They're leaving the matrix. Oh. <laughs> Can make a DC fortitude save. A DC fortitude? Yeah. Uh, sorry, fortitude save. What level? High. Okay, whatever. DC uh, 12. Yeah, okay, you're good. Muka, your turn. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, nope. that's the wrong one, sorry. No. Oh, you mean well, you can one. add whatever, add three to that, four to that. I still mess. Yeah, you still. Oh, wait, no. You hit if you add. It's plus 11 normally. Yeah, you hit. So, four. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so just do that. Excuse me. All right, you kill them. No, yeah, you kill them. All right, <laughs> the rats are done. Cool. Yay! Why did they even throw those in there? How long ago? Just to make you have to look up swarms. Maybe. Are the pittens in place at least for that yes. door? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the pittens are well in place. Cool, man. Uh, Quadril is gonna go over to this door here. And uh, peek on in. All right, you peek on in. Those are they're going that way. I'm gonna move myself to the store. What is that? D twenty eight. Sure. It looks like a wine cellar. Two wine racks line the walls here. Their shelves <laughs> empty and dusty. Mounds oh. of broken glass bottles clutter the floor. Mm, I, oh, I, I Okay, just a second. All right. <laughs> Make a perception check. That's what I was. Yep. Yeah. Is it a good year? What are you doing, Roxy? That sucks. <laughs> you got shit. I, 
Yep, I got shit. All right. Um, all right, cool. Then I'll, I'll take a step right here, and I'll check in that door, too. All right. Tyler, if you want to take a listen at the door. Man, I really yeah. wanted some wine. Once a pantry, this room has become filthy, reeking lair of what must be hundreds, if not thousands, of rats. Swaths of fur cling to everything, and mounds of rat droppings cover the floor. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, c would I would I be able to tell Tangle to check out these rooms? Because I know that I'm not very good at this stuff. You can do whatever you want. Hey, Tangle, you should check out these rooms, because I'm not very good at seeing what's in front of me. <laughs> Alright, so Tangle hears him uh, kind of... I already checked for big bad monsters. We're good to go. Tangle is also checking this door that she's standing in front of first. And then right. she heads back Tangle. over. Oh, you, this, oh yeah. The, the perception was on this door? Yeah. The right. door she's yes. yeah, yeah. You hear nothing. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go over back where I heard my good friend right. Quadrule and give another listen. Or no, I want you to search the room. I already looked inside oh, search there. The room. Yeah, there's nobody in there. Okay. Um, so I do that and I'm going to roll another check for all. Oh, that's crap ass. Alright. Mm. I mean, your crap ass is pretty decent. Crap ass? <laughs> Alright, so she sees nothing either? Nope. Alright, Damn it. moving on. Alright, moving on. And then on. Tangle looks in this room with all the rat droppings and flat out refuses to walk in there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed the right. plus seven sword of backstabbing. You know, just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. God damn it. <laughs> or, you know, just a really nice, fancy, expensive bottle of wine. Because we are in a manner, but you know. Moving up. Yep, moving, moving on. Moving up. Up. <laughs> Time to yeah, take right. a listen. Muka, you wanna? Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks, buddy. I've got Muka's back, he's got Corral's back. God, my perception. I'm not rolling great perception right now. Alright, you're good. But yeah, I'm listening. Okay, and I'm moving into this room here, peeking through. Alright, you peek through. This room and looks to have room? once been some sort of arcane workshop, although it now lies in ruin. A row of soggy books sits on the northern end of a workbench along the western wall. At the other end of the workbench, what looks like three iron bird cages sit, each containing a dead, diseased rat. To the Ew. east, two stained glass windows loom. The northern window depicts a thin man with gaunt features drinking a foul-looking brew of green fluid, while the southern one shows the same man, but in an advanced state of decay, as if he had been dead for several weeks. His arms raised and head thrown back in triumph, his rotting body turns to smoke and spirals into a seven-sided box. Do Does a 26 spellcraft check help me recognize any of this? Kind of no, but does anyone have knowledge nobility? Nope. No. no. Knowledge need a knowledge we nobility? Really need a I should have built a yeah, wizard. One second. No. One second. Everyone, please. I thought we were in a basement right now. Once we are in a basement. How are there stained glass windows in a basement? Because there's, it's looking that it's. Oh, it's off it's a cliff. Car, yeah, it's carved into the cliff like this. Gotcha. This portion. See, like only this this area, if you notice, is looking outward. You know? Okay. Everything else is like inside the bedrock. Gotcha. Um, it's a pretty cool place. So. Bet it was a uh, really nice in its heyday. Just yeah. needs a little TLC. <laughs> second fist of Gorum. One second, y'all. Yeah, this would be the shield of Gorum, but ah, like your stuff, or more <laughs> like the nasty, sweaty feet of Gorum in its current situation. That's, That's... what that smell is. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh. Yes. You feel compelled to move over to this bench and touch the books. Where's my will save? There is no will save for this. <laughs> um. All of a sudden, you see visions in the stained glass window of a man that looks somewhat like Aldern Foxglove, but not quite Aldern Foxglove. Um, you, you see him researching works about liches, transformation potions. You see him building his phylactery. You see him taking all these ingredients. You, you see him drink this potion and he doubles over you, and you become filled with blinding shame that a loved one would do this to himself followed by a burning rage that he was stopped before he finished this ritual um please make all um make a dc 14 will save Everybody, or just her? Just, just Roxy. In the air, finally. Very well. The rage subsides. Oh, shit. Right. So everybody notices Roxy tense up again, and then she immediately slaps herself, and she's like, no, no. <laughs> and then she tells everybody, well... I either saw Alder and turn himself into a lich, which is worse than a ghast, or that was one of his ancestors who turned himself into a lich. He tried to. He seemed to, uh, something happened. So it was Alder in them? No. Okay. It looked like him. Roxy said she thinks it's an ancestor or his father or something. Hmm. Or maybe his grandfather, because they said they found his father dead upstairs. Not you, uh. You suddenly. Basically, you were in the place of a woman that was seeing this man try to do this. And it felt like he was a loved one of yours. And. Um, yeah. Anyways, everything's all good now. But you notice that the stained glasses, stained glass windows in this house, now you think of it, now that you've seen the final process, um, you're able to see that each stained glass window represents some piece of a puzzle to obtaining uh, lichdom. Licked them or whatever. We gotta get moving. Frank, like, what do you go to the door? Uh... Alright. You're good. You're free to enter. Nothing. And I am going to. Because uh, I haven't been stealthed. So I'm going to. To stealth up. Stealth in time. Uh, my, uh. How long have we been in here now, Matt? A while. Uh, Is over an hour? In the, in the house? Yeah. Yes. All right, so the the hide from undead is uh is past. Okay. Okay. Okay, you enter. Yes, yeah, I right do. With you. All right, continue. Let me uh and let me take the lead here. On. Okay. Continue. I'll move up to the stairwell. 
Okay. Um, and... Piles of broken stone, dirt, and a few ruined pickaxes line the edges of the, this room. The floor in the middle of the room has been torn up to reveal an ancient set of stone spiral stairs, obviously of much older construction than the surrounding basement, winding deep into the bedrock below. A foul stink, like that of rotten meat, wafts up on a cold breeze from the darkness. I attack the darkness. Fantastic. You don't have magic missile. You can't do that. Um, <laughs> Muka. Mio. You notice a sudden increase in the steam of rotten flesh. Make a DC 16 will save. This isn't a haunted house, it's a safe house. Yeah. Oh. Every um, for all <laughs> you see, Muka thrashing and uh, jerk around in the air as if he were being shaken by an angry mob, like he's suddenly levitating off the air in the air and thrashing about like an uh, angry mob is trying to tear him apart. Deep red claw and bite wounds appear on his flesh. Oh God. Just like suddenly, for you, is like his face, um, finger like it seems like finger marks claw down his face and neck, and blood starts dripping off from him. Yeah, channel positive energy. One second, though. Take twenty-two points of damage, Nuka, and then you fall to the ground. Make a DC sixteen fortitude save. Mm. Uh, Luke is having a rough day. Right. That's, that's good. Alright. And you, I believe you heal 11 points of damage. You'll heal 11. Alright. If there's, um. And you do not contract ghoul fever, so you are good. That's always good. I'm going to, uh. You, you... Yeah, I don't. Go ahead. I don't know what Mooka's thinking right now, but uh, not good. I'm gonna uh, spend a rage round. Uh, Mooka, Mooka, what you saw, you you saw hundreds of ghouls come up from the well, toss you around, and start ripping your limbs from piece to piece. That's what you saw. That's good. Nice ghouls. Not give me ghoul fever. And then well, now we never saw that. We just saw no. Him you floating. saw him floating in th in midair, claw marks appearing on his face. Which now, Muka, you have these uh, light scars across your face. All right. Well, let's let's tend to that right now, uh, Muka. You're still you're still no, pretty. I figured. I'm. I figured I'm down one, so don't do that. Oh, yeah. Well, doesn't matter. I saw you hurting. All right. Well, I only need. Well, okay. The light Gross. scars remain, though. Um, You're past the, your max. Go back. Yeah, I did plus ten, and it went to sixty-five. Yeah, because it. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh, so do you all go down. I'm going down. <laughs> yeah, we're going down. All right. Yeah, it's pretty smelly down there, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, Mooka just changed my opinion. Let's uh, let's pack up and leave. Yeah, you haven't known Smelly. If you known the mines of Duraval, Duraval's mine. Oh, the stench that you could get in there. Let me tell you. <laughs> Moving forward. Contingency oh plans. I'm gonna light the place up like a like the sun. Okay. 
Oh, boy. What is this guy's <laughs> name? Alderon? Aldern. Aldern. Asshole. You know we're coming, Aldern. You know we're coming. Are, are you yelling that down the I cave? am yelling that out. All right. You hear several... Arr, as ghouls start appearing. <laughs>